Welcome to the channel Roving Chestnut. In this video, I'm looking at the new release from Canon that allows you to turn your Canon M50 or Canon M6 Mark II into a webcam. I'm also gonna be looking at how to set them up in detail and get them both running and show them. I'm JP and I really appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. If you're new to Roving Chestnut, you may wish to consider subscribing as we have lots of Canon M50 and M6 Mark II related content on this channel. Over the past week, YouTube seems to have erupted with videos about the news that Canon has launched this facility for some of their cameras. But I've not seen any videos where they're actually showing it working or even showing how to set them up. Due to this, I decided I would produce a video that shows exactly how easy it is for you to set up your Canon M50 or M6 Mark II with this new webcam facility. Initially, I encountered a problem with this due to the fact that it's not compatible with Apple products at the moment. I have an Apple iMac, I have a MacBook Pro. Luckily, I do have a Windows 10 computer that I use for certain things with my other channel, so I'm gonna use that. Canon have said an Apple version is on its way, and when it does come out, I will do a little video on showing how easy or difficult it is to use that. Hopefully, it will be as easy as this one is. Also, this is a beta software at the moment at the time of recording, which is the beginning of May 2020. So please be aware that there will be certain apps and software that will encounter slight problems. But Canon are aware of that, and they're working on that too. Let's kick this off with what you need to set up. If you're connecting the M6 Mark II, you need a USB-C. If you're connecting an M50, you need a USB-B. Again, fortunately, I have both of these available. Connecting could not be easier. Simply plug into the computer and the other end into the cameras. It is as straightforward and as simple as that. Now we need to go to the website to download the drivers. In this instance, it's the Canon USA website. I will stick a link in the description. Once you're on there, you need to type in the camera model that you've got. You will then be able to scroll down to the software and drivers section. Click on the software tab if it's not already highlighted. It's the second one in. And then you should see the EOS Webcam Utility Beta 0.9.0 at the time that I was filming, that could have changed. It's for Windows, as I've already mentioned. Simply download, install, and then reboot as soon as you're ready. Starting with the Canon M6 Mark II, fitted with the stock Canon 15 to 45 millimeter lens, I connected the camera to the computer. You simply connect the cable, as I already said. Turn the camera on, and it should all auto self-detect, which, as you can see it did in my instance. Using zoom, we can now see what happens. I opened up a screen. It defaulted to the internet webcam on the computer, which is of a poor quality. But when I selected the Canon M6 Mark II, it jumped into life and the quality of the image was dramatically improved. Hopefully you can see that. I'm really shocked at how easy and quick this was to actually complete and get this up and running. Let us now do the same with the Canon M50. I'm also using the stock Canon 15 to 45 millimeter lens on the camera also. I will connect everything up, switch it on, start zoom and boom. Again, switching between the laptop camera and the M50 to see the difference. This is an improvement that completely justifies connecting the M50, in my opinion, every time. I do hope that this video has been informative and useful for you. If so, please do consider giving us a like. It really does help small channels when people do that. And if you've not subscribed yet, why not consider subscribing? Either of these would be massively appreciated, so thank you in advance. Thanks for watching. Until next time. JP out.